many young bums will cross over into different sports for challenges, but of them all, one stands head and shoulders above the rest. Superstar! Where did this incredible new hero come from? Well, actually, he comes from here! Superstar was born Zane Susi Swisher and was a natural from day one. His commitment to the sport only intensified with age. When he attended high school in his freshman year, he noticed a somewhat shy girl that caught his eyes. He too at the time was shy and didn't know what to say to her. During his freshman high school dance party, he heard some certain sobs from that very same girl. Hmm, poor girl seems to have feelings. Perhaps I should go talk to her. Hey, you there. Huh? Oh, hi. I'm Zane Swisher. Nice to meet you. My name is Erica Hudson, but my friends call me Wasabi. I like that name, but why do you feel sad? <laughs> Nobody wanted to dance with me. Really? Well, I feel the same way with the other girls. Hey, the slow dance is starting. Do you want to dance with me? Really? Wow. Okay. <laughs> that was the night when he danced with the girl of his dreams. So in order to impress her more, he signed up for his high school basketball team and won them four championships. I couldn't have done it without my teammates. After graduating, he attended college in Los Angeles, known as UCLA. At the age of 19, he was drafted into the TNBA, the FUM National Basketball Association. That's the number one pick. He was drafted by the LA Lakers, one of the greatest teams since the Los Angeles Lakers of 1988. With the number one pick, the Los Angeles Lakers select Zane Stryker of the University of Los Angeles, California. Woohoo! Of course, those were there were those who would stoop to any lengths to halt Zane's progress, most notably the bottom-feeding baddies of the Lasers, arch rivals, the Boston Dark Stars. You come a long way, Squisher! Two of our rallying! Then let's settle this on the court! The Los Angeles Lasers and the Boston Dark Stars were old rivals, yet Zane was paired with some of the greatest players in the TNBA, Bronze James and Davis Anthony. Come on, Bond! Without training, you'll teach Steppenwolf a lesson he'll never forget. Zane can dribble, he can dunk, he can shoot, he can score! Oh, he's better than that part! Leading the LA Lasers to a record-breaking victory over their eternal enemies, the young bum soon made captain and prospered as one of the all-time greatest rookies. He even helped lead the team to two TNBA championships and even won TNBA Rookie of the Year and two TNBA MPV awards, until eventually, one fine day, destiny came calling, as two familiar wrestlers were seen during the championship amazed by the young rookie's talents. Wow, that kid's got a lot of skills and style, huh? I like that kid. No kidding, Vinny. That kid's got potential as well. His TNBA teammates and high school teammates were so moved by performance that they nicknamed him Superstar, and he liked that nickname. Hear that kid! Congratulations winning one back-to-back -back for your team. You, Bronze Davis, and whoever, are pretty good. You've really got potential. How would you and your team be made like a careering bum wrestling? Wrestling, huh? That both sounds like fun and a challenge. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with something, yeah. We'll take it. Sign us up. And so, TMBA's favorite MPV and two of the greatest basketball players join the Muddy Dexterers and enter the Bum Wrestling Federation. Prepare to be slam dunked into the next millennium.